in front of you, you all see a little envelope. And so what I thought we'd do is before we start tonight's show, we will actually just do a little exercise. And if you take out uh, in this little envelope, there are four little cards or sheets of paper. And um, these are actually the wines that we're going to be tasting. So uh, there's one from South Africa, one from the UK, the French one you've already got, and an awesome Spanish uh, port. So. Now, what I need you guys to do is I need you to listen very carefully and hopefully if you follow the instructions, we'll get a very, very interesting result. You guys game? Yeah. You're in? Okay, cool. So, I want you to hold the piece of paper face down so you can't see what's written on the pieces of paper, right? Okay, kind of like you would hold the camera and then down. Now, I want you to mix them up so they're in an unusual order just random so make it nice and random perfect you guys happy great you're now going to tear the pieces in half so you're going to make one clean tear hopefully clean and you've got two piles just like this and this is where the first decision comes in play. You're going to either take your left hand and put it onto the right or the other way around, right onto left. Whichever you decide and you can do that right now. And now you've got a nice little stack of eight pieces. So, I want you to take the top three pieces. Be careful that they are kind of like a little bit stuck together. Okay, the top three pieces, and you're going to place those anywhere you want in the middle of the pile, in the middle of the deck. Okay, you're all with me? Yeah. Brilliant. Okay, now, the next piece, the new top piece, you're going to take and put it in a safe place. And just tuck it away safely. You can sit on it, you can put it in your wallet, you can put it in a bag, you can hide it under the cheese, whatever you would like to do with it, right? Okay, perfect. Now, what I'd like you to do is next, I want you to take a piece and I want you to swap it with someone next to you. Okay, I'm going to just come and steal someone's piece here. And I want you to take that, keep it out. So once you've swapped it, keep it, keep it out, okay? And you're going to place that somewhere in the center of the pack. We're all there? Brilliant. Now, we're going to make another decision. We're going to make a decision, uh, just to randomize this a little bit, and you're going to choose to either discard one, two or three pieces okay from the top and I want it to be random so you don't have to look at what everyone else is doing but let's say I'm going to get rid of some pieces you can push put them on the table throw them on the floor Frank will clean up later <laughs> okay. pleasure okay right perfect now You've all done that, right? So now everyone has a different stack because some would have thrown away one piece, some three, some two. Okay, so everyone's different. Now, I thought that we would actually do the following. We'll use the name Bristol since we're in Bristol. And we're going to take the top piece and we're going to place it to the bottom for B, R, I, S, T, O and L. So the name Bristol. Perfect. So we are now going to play a little game. Remember the game that we played? I'm sure you guys remember. She loves me, she loves me not. Okay, so we're going to do that. So we're going to take the first piece. She loves me, she loves me not. She loves me. She loves me not. And you know how this ends, right? She loves me. She loves me not. She loves me. She loves me not. And now, ladies and gentlemen, you should have, if you take out that piece that you kept safe, have a look and see if it indeed matches, even though everything was randomized, yeah? 